up, bugs? It's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And um, to my returning subs and my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, you know, drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, if you feel like the videos just give you good insight, you know, um, and uh, you can resonate with it, please give a thumbs up and go ahead and share. It's greatly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste and love and blessings. I know I said that twice. I was looking at my um the video I'm about to do. Anyways, um, but I hope you're able to resonate with the content of the video. And the video I'm doing right now is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, when you're helping bring um bringing awakening of life back to the world, you know it's not all love and light because you know a lot of people are like oh you in that love and light vibration. Love and light is is not how certain people think oh you're trying to be uppity you're trying to be all positive no love and light is when you you allow yourself to embrace in that in, in that hate of darkness you know you're doing that and it's like a lot of times we feel like um that uh you know we don't have what it takes to do something take part in the world's uh construction of transition of change and we're doing that by facing the inevitable. We're facing different things in the world that, you know, a lot of people frown upon. You know, you're allowing yourself to keep it real. Even when, you, you know, that, that truth, you know, it, you know it, it can be hard to adjust to. It's hard to be able to adapt. It's hard for us to be able to say, you know, this is my truth. You know, I might have been a struggling addict on different things, this, this, and that. Or I could have been a lady of the night. I could have been a guy of the night. I've been doing this and this and this and that. And then next, you know, I changed my life. You know, something really hit me in that hardship of life that really, you know, took me there. It really, you know, allowed me to really go through it. And it was hard. It was really hard. You know, I was looking for different things to save me. I was looking for different people to save me. And it showed me I had to save myself. I'm my own superhero. When I looked, when you're looking all over the place, it's telling you, look in the mirror. You got what it takes. And a lot of times it's hard for us to understand we have what it takes, you know, to do that. Because you're going through, you're struggling with stuff day by day. Sometimes you're ready to end it. And there'll be different people that are probably struggling just because they want to live. And they looking at us like, you know the little things you allow on your, it to fold on you. When I wish I had your type of issue, I, it's hard for me to breathe right now. And you able to do it, but you complaining about it. You know, and we do that. There'll be different times I complain about certain things. And let me go look in somebody else's life and make me feel so, oh, I'm so petty. I'm really, I mean, I'm really went petty. You know. And really could have went there. And these are the different things that you're showing. You're bringing life back into the world where it's dead at. You know, when we're doing that, you gonna have when I'm and, and when I'm seeing it, we just don't realize how much you dealing with, how much stuff that is trying to make you and convince you like you don't have what it takes. You different things is gonna come at you, is gonna challenge you in so many different ways, fam. In so many different ways. And it's just like you're going through all these different things in life to where, you know, it's just like I don't have what it takes. You know, we do that negative talk. We we going through intrusive thoughts. You know, we speak negative on ourselves. We give our own self a headache. You know, these different things. Because God's gonna do that, universe is gonna do that, they're gonna send you all these different hardships in your life, and it is to show you. This is what I, I'm using you. I'm using you as that tool. I'm using you as that vessel. And these are the different things that I'm, I'm purging you. You know, you're going to be purging. You're going to be up at night. You're going to be facing the most darkest things in life. I'm going to put you in certain things where you're going to convict, be convicted of things you didn't do. You can see that how you living in truth and where it just seemed like people are getting praises for living in lies. I'm telling you to be an angel and you feel like you're being punished and crucified for it while the devil is over here being, uh, being placed on the highest pedestal possible. And it's just like this is where you're going to be fueled. It's just like a lot of times we got to be able to psych ourselves out. You know, and I say that a lot. You got to. You know what different things that will make you move that will really press you. Really, really press you. Really press you. 
you know that di so many different people is praying on your your downfall. There's so many people are doing, it. but just just so you know, you got people out there that you don't even know that's praying for your uplift, that's praying for your restoration, that's doing that because they see that light in you and they see how many times you don't got beat down, and you taking a part in something in life because it's just life. Life they feel like is is impossible to come from the the, the bottom. It's impossible to be an empire. You, you can be a CEO of an empire today, but you can't do it because you were homeless yesterday. You're making that possible possible. Even with the most littlest dream, the littlest thing they want you to manifest, you're going to be that person that's going to make it global. You're making it possible, impossible possible. That's why you go through so many different things where so many people are bring ish to you. Just because they're hoping that you would fold. When you wishing kind, when you pushing out kindness out to the world, there's so many people out there just wishing the most worst on you right now, just because they know you got what it takes to make change happen. Because happening and change is taking place in your life right now. You going through so many different things. I see it. It's like when I'm seeing the good in people. You know what's taking place, and I'm even seeing the good in my enemies right now. And I wasn't able, able to see that before. Like I see it. But now I'm really seeing it. But I see. You know I can be able to see what my downfall is. What keeps me back. You know what keeps me in that vibration. That I'm no longer needing to be in. Change is very uncomfortable. They never see. There's some few people that welcome that. They welcome challenges. They get hyped up off of that. But it's just the fact is. When your whole life has been built on challenges. You a whole new breed. And don't even realize that. And there'll be some people that, you know, it's sad that some people will end it all. I've been one of those type of people where I try to do that many times. But then it was just like, God, so if he made me wake up today, you know, I may not have liked waking up. It gave me a whole new purpose to life. A whole new purpose to life. And it, it, it's just like we see so much out in the world where sometimes it's trying to figure out where God at. I see it so much where people are just so ugly towards each other when we don't have to be. And you try to push love out and people spit on you. Excuse my friends, people shit on you. You know? And these are those different things that's where I'm showing you where your power is. Even through diversity and adversity. Even when so many different things is making you want to lower your head, I'm going to give you that vibration to hold your head high. Because I gave you purpose. I'm going to give you sustenance and everything to be able to get over everything. Even when you feel in the vibration of defeat, miracles is coming. Anything that goes against you is going to make you rise even stronger. And this is how you're doing that. By bringing life into the world where it feels dead. We're awakening in so many different ways. You know, there'll be different times that we feel like we wake up in the morning. I don't, I don't want to deal with today. I don't want to, you know, but we deal with, and we, there'll be a day that we deal, we say that every day. And it's like, now it's time for you to deal with it. You, you, you don't put you on the back burner for too long. No, we're, we're not doing that. They're not doing that. This is at that time where you need to be able to see your light. This is at that time where you you going to see things. Don't take in vain because of that pain. Don't feel like the things that you're going through don't have a purpose behind what you're going through. Even when you're not being recognized for the good out there, you're going to be recognized in a way that you weren't expected just because of those things that happen. That you feel like you're not being seen. You feel like you're not being heard. You know, people are not showing you that they're grateful for the things that you done brought gratitude for. Or at different times people. You try to do all you could to show kindness to you. And they took that for granted. These are those different things where I show you. You got you got endless possibilities. This at that time you got to believe in them. And this at that time is now. You know it's, it's now. You have to be able to believe in yourself. Even when things is going left for you. It's at that time because it's like that you were picked to be chosen. You you hear the chosen one a lot. You're anointed. You've been guided. You've been handpicked from your loved ones. 
You know, it was like, you know, it's just like I fold under pressure. I fold under pressure. It's like safe word. Is there a safe word? And you're like, you are that safe word. You it's just a lot of the time you going into war, but this is war against certain things that you need to stop believing in. Stop believing that you can't make it. Stop believing of what other people try to define you as. Stop believing and in 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 failure because failure can lead you to unexpected success. A lot of times you gonna have to, you know, you gonna fall, you gonna bust your face. There'll be sometimes you gonna fall face forward, face plant. Okay, get up, shake it off. Sometimes like, ooh, shake it off, skip, skip, skip. Mommy, that dude, <laughs> he was trying to be funny and, and went and flipped. I forgot I was on army fail. Now I was trying not to laugh, but that man, I was like, God forgive me for laughing at that, but that was funny as hell. But that dude was trying to, I guess he was drunk and he was trying to flip, flip, and then he fell face plant. And you see the ice like breaking. I was like. And you see it saying, you know, it's saying in their own language, the native language, I think it was Russia. Uh, and he was speaking Russian. And he was just, and next thing you know, he would just start skipping. <laughs> he, all he could do is just skip it off. Like, he don't feel that mess tomorrow. But it's going to be okay. You're going through these different things. It's like when I hear y'all, you know, I hear y'all even when y'all don't drop a comment. I hear y'all, feel y'all. Even when you don't drop a comment. You know, there'll be different things. And it, it's just like, I'm at that vibration now where... Even the people that wish the worst on me, I still do the best for you. I'm still wishing the best for you. You know? And it's, it's just like, I, I'm at that point, you know, because I used to say stuff, you know, that was, you know, just to let the, the enemy know I know what you're doing. But now it's just like, I see you. But it's not like I'm, I'm saying I see you come at me. I ain't, I ain't worried about all that. But it's just like, I see you. And I see the issues you're going through. You know, and a lot of times we see it, you know, and it's just like you want to, sometimes it's hard for you to feel sorry for your enemies. And sometimes it's like that, you know, you really going through something. You have to really be going through something if you want to come at me and I haven't done nothing to you. It's just for the fact is when you want to do something better, it's going to go against people that don't know their way yet. And it's okay. There'll be different times where we didn't know our way. You know, you may not have gone through things and gone about things like they did, but you can't guarantee everybody's going to do that with you. And these are the times where even you're going to get to that point where you're going to see that those enemies helped you out in big ways. They didn't realize shit. They didn't even think. They didn't even realize that. You know, and it's just like you're doing that by you. You're breathing life into yourself, and when you breathe life into yourself, you know what you went through. You know what you battled with. You know what your demons are. You know what the old you was. You know you you figuring out what the new is, and you're going through those different things in life where you, if you know you're going through something, and you can tell yourself, "I never want nobody to ever feel what that feels like," and when you know you said that, that was your purpose right there. Whatever you faced. And whatever you know, it, it hurts you to the core. Where even if you your situation have brought you many enemies, then you don't even wish what you going through on them. And I used to tell people that, and I had to be told that. You know, if you, you dish out the things that things is placed on you, you just don't realize. that it is, It's like if you feel that, some people sit down. Some people will, let me, let me work on myself. This is what this feels like. You know, and you're, and you're going through those things because we all going through a karma right now. And, it, you know, and it's just like not going through the route of saying things like I used to. But it's just like we all going through karma. And a lot of that karma that we going through is unleashed on other people. You know, but it's just at that time you can say what you want to say and then move on, make peace with it. It's going to do it. When it makes peace to your heart, it's going to disrupt and probably add towards somebody else's it, else's war is like that sometimes but this is at that time where you you have to get serious with yourself you got to have those heavy boundaries not just with the enemy but other people and as well as yourself i don't have time to be sitting up here self-loathing and self-doubt i don't have time to be worrying about what the enemy or what the person did to me that hurt me so much to the core i don't have time to be worrying about seeing how is this going to unfold let me just do my part and be in present today. <laughs> you know, hold but show up for myself. This is what I'm doing right now. And these are those different things you just don't realize. You are bringing life into the world where it is all surrounded by death. There's people walking around looking like death zombies. 
you know, death zombies because they refuse to change. They they feel like, let me see what I can do to do this instead of going about it the right way, which is hard at times. I can understand why some people do it that way. I can really put an understanding to it because I'm like, why would you do that? Because a lot of times doing it the right way ain't the easy way. It might take a little bit longer, and I get it. You have to be understanding that that's how some people are. That's the way some people in the world today is. You see how much chaos is coming out in the world. But you see the people that are wanting change. You see how it's affecting us because we see how it's being affected. And this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. We're allowing our past to be able to create a better future. And a lot of times that path is not pretty. You know, went through a whole, like, it was a reality check. This is what you're, you're going through a reality check right now. Going through this. And it's just like, we know your story. Now it's time for a new chapter in your life. You're already in a new chapter and don't realize you're in a new chapter. It's in a whole new world. But it's up to you to be able to see what you can create in a whole new world. Because we ain't a part of this one. We're making a whole new one. It's like, this one ain't needed no more. <laughs> you know, you and I showed and you and I showed up enough. Now let now it's time for us to create different things in life. Cause that's why I be like certain things I'll be watching. Like y'all know, you've been watching me for a while. I say how I love um, different crime shows, and I'm just like I see the messages in the world. I said, why can't we just go ahead and um, leave like all the ped pedophiles and chomos, whatever, anybody who's just out here just. You know, doing things that, I mean, really just straight unnecessary. Because, I mean, the thing that always pissed me off at when it comes to the judicial system, because I'm, I'm not in that government stuff, I ain't got time. But it's just like, how do I feel? Like, if I get caught with a bag of herb, how do I get 25 years and somebody who just takes somebody innocent away and touches, touches people, kids and junk like that, or even take people, kids, well, you know, all that. How come you only get six years and my stuff, you bring it, you dishing out pain and I'm bringing joy. I'm trying to level myself up. I'm just trying to sit up here and be me just in a happy, I'm trying to get to my higher self. You know, and it is like having her either make you happy, horny, sleepy. One of those different things or it's going to make you see life in a whole different way. This stuff that you're doing right here. In certain places, I wish that they, they do it overseas where you get castrated in certain ways. And I said, Lord, forgive me, but I wish they had that all over the world. And then you'd be just stuck like Chuck, you know. But knowing them, they probably just find new ways of trying to, you know, mess up somebody's daggone innocence. But, you know, you see different things like that. I'm like, why can we just make it simple and just create our own new world and all the bad people just stay there and they can just self-destruct on each other and all the good people. It may be boring, but hey, it'll be all love and light and be all, you know, positivity. We can just leave everybody else there. It'll be okay. Yeah, hey, get even, you know what the bonus is? We can even give them insurance for being like that. <laughs> you know, any way you are, we give insurance for that. They don't, they, they don't, it's just like they ain't got no death coverage though. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. And you're just going through different things like that. But all joking aside though, for real. Um, it's, it's, it's just being able to tell you, you got what it takes to breathe life back into the world. Even though you may not feel it right now, you really do. Just because the fact is what you've been through and what you're trying to get over. You know, what you're trying to heal from. These are really taking place into your life that, you know, is taking you towards that next level. You are already on that next level, but it's molding you. You're putting on the finishing touches. You pass being a work in progress. You adding towards that man, uh, man, man, um, masterpiece. I'll say mantelpiece. You working on your masterpiece. You adding the finishing touches to that. You already done built your foundation. That construction is a beautiful view of life. You were that building it, you know, it can't be swayed, it can't be tore down. It had to go through that because it's like all the things that we've gone through in life when I see it, you don't been through hell. And that's what helped build you up in that way just because of what you went through. This is what you you know, if you still breathing, there's a purpose for that. It's gonna it's gonna bring out something that's going you gonna be you gonna be that you know, it's like an auto correct in, in a way like, yeah, I corrected myself and I'm straight automatic. You know, I'm a, you know, you just straight, you going. There ain't go, no way for you to be able, you, you got that sauce. And you really going. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. And I would love to give a post notification. Shout out to Tierra Simone. Uh, Jamal Jackson. Uh, 
Annie I and Mighty Rob's much love to you as well. You know, if you're new to my channel, welcome. It's so good to have you. I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about um Oh Pierre XO is out. Okay, sorry about that. You know what I'm saying? I got a notification from Pierre XO. Um you going through uh different things. It's all about social uh it's all about uh, spiritual networking on social distance spiritual network on you know being able to give um, give you a, a deeper uh, purpose understand your deeper purpose of life you know I'm um, just being able to help you make sense you know whatever crazy you got going on into your life we all go through our craziness we always go through it extra because we extra we ain't crazy but we just extra we just woke wide awoke you know like man you crazy no I'm just woke you know, you want to take that, uh, uh, what is it, that, uh, serotonin if you want to and stay on that 24-7. Uh, 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 I just need that when I need to sleep and shoot. It's like with us as empaths, it's hard for us to really get sleep anyway. So, I hope you are able to resonate with that. But like I said, I'll leave my contact information in the description box below as well as my, um, link to my podcast as well on Spotify. And if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, it'll be greatly appreciated. You know, I leave my cash app there as well. You know, whatever you're trying to manifest into the world, I'm giving you beautiful vibes that it can add extra on that, it can add weight on too. Especially if you know you've been going through it a while and it just really feel like, you know, stuff ain't coming on a fusion for you. you know, keep on going because you never know. Keep on going. You got it coming for you. And it's just like, you know, the devil may want you to give up today because he already knows. It's like that door going to come up with tomorrow. Stay persistent and consistent. And, you know, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, like positivity, words, vibes, frequency. You, you never know. Those things can really take somebody a long way. And just because you took the time out to be able to do that for other people, hey, it's going to take you even further. I hope you have a blessed, prosperous week. I love y'all so much. And thank you for the support as always. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love. Peace.